These are the false prophets who deceived and led away our people in Zarahemla. Take them and cast them into prison. Turn to be Nephite prophets. <laughs> they plan to steal your land and force you to worship their Nephite god. There'll be no food for Nephi and Lehi. My sons, I desire that you remember to keep the commandments of God and declare unto the people these words. Remind them of the importance of their names. I have given unto you the names of our first parents, Nephi and Lehi, who came out of the land of Jerusalem. This I did, that when you remember your names, you may remember them. And when you remember them, you may remember their works. And when you remember their works, you may know that they were good. They are for my sons. I would that you should do that which is good, that it may be said of you, and also written, even as it has been said and written of them. I desire of you that ye may not do these things, that ye may boast, but that ye may do these things, to lay up for yourselves a treasure in heaven, yea, which is eternal, and which fadeth not away, that ye may have that precious gift of eternal life, which we have reason to suppose has been given unto our fathers. My sons, remember the words which King Benjamin spake unto his people, that there is no other way nor means whereby man can be saved, only through the atoning blood of Jesus Christ, who shall come. They remember that he cometh to redeem the world. They should also remember what you have taught them, but the words which Amulek speak unto Zeezrom in the city of Ammonihah. The Lord surely should come to redeem his people, but that he should not come to redeem them in their sins, but to redeem them from their sins. And he hath power given unto him from the Father to redeem them from their sins because of repentance. And he has sent his angels to declare the tidings of the conditions of repentance, which bringeth unto the power of the Redeemer, unto the salvation of their souls. My sons, remember, remember that it is upon the rock of our Redeemer, who is Christ, the Son of God, that ye must build your foundation. And when the devil shall send forth his mighty winds, yea, his shafts in the whirlwind, yea, when all his hail and his mighty storm shall beat upon you, he shall have no power to drag you down to the gulf of misery and endless woe because of the rock upon which ye are built, which is a sure foundation, a foundation whereon if men build, they cannot fall. <laughs> Pray, Nephites. Where is your God now? Hmm? <laughs> We have been commanded to teach the word of God among all the people. We declare unto you the conditions of repentance, which bringeth unto the power of the Redeemer, unto the salvation of your souls. We know you preach the truth. How may we be baptized unto repentance?
Take them to be slain! things mean and who is it with whom these men do converse they do converse with the angels of god what shall we do that this cloud of darkness may be removed from overshadowing us you must repent you must repent and cry unto the voice even until you shall have faith in christ who was taught unto us by alma and amulek and zesrim and when you shall do this, the cloud of darkness shall be removed from overshadowing you. Lord, forgive me. Help me on faith in Christ. Deliver us. Remove the cloud from overshadowing us. Peace. Peace be unto you because of your faith in my well-beloved, who was from the foundation of the world.
Marvel not, neither should you doubt. And it came to pass that they did go forth and did minister unto the people, declaring throughout all the regions round about all the things which they had heard and seen insomuch that the more part of the Lamanites were convinced of them because of the greatness of the evidences which they had received. And they did yield up unto the Nephites the lands of their possession. had become the more part of them a righteous people insomuch that their righteousness did exceed that of the Nephites because of their firmness and their steadiness in the faith. 